All right, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back. This NBA 2K23, my career. Game two of the Western Conference Finals against the Phoenix Suns. And as you know, in game one, we absolutely rip them apart. The Suns are the seventh seed, and we are the one seed. The seventh seed made it all the way to the Conference Finals. The Suns are a great team, don't get me wrong. As, yeah, that's foul on me, of course. But they do not belong here. They beat out the Grizzlies, and I forget who the other team they beat out was. But they beat out a really good Grizzlies team with John Morant to get here. And, I mean, they ran into a, a brick wall of us. We got lucky dodging the Grizzlies, to be honest, because we could barely deal with Luka. As Chris Paul misses his first shot, kicks it back out to him, Aiton with the rebound, and now they hit it for the first shot of the game. But, yeah, the Suns, they don't even belong here. So, I'm hoping for a 4-0 sweep, maybe. We'll see what happens. I'm going right to, right to the rack. Drawing the foul and one. Currently have a four-point lead over the Suns right now. Aiden gets the ball. He's been killing the boards so far. Chris Paul has been struggling as he keeps taking shots like that. We get the rebound. Sengun down court to me. Chris Paul. Ooh, great cut, Smith. That's not what I wanted to do. Move-wise, I wanted to spin into a layup or a dunk. But it's fine. We still get the two points. Jabari Smith gets his fourth point. Of the game. I don't know how many I have. As Devin Booker fade away. And Aiton is going to somehow grab that rebound. Put it up quickly but misses. Why did I pass it? Why did I do that? Oh my god. What am I doing? Jalen Green take the ball away from me. Jalen Green right by Devin Booker. Gives us an 8 point lead. What a move. Doesn't go out of bounds and throws it down. 10 point lead. Jabari Smith hits another layup. Now has 8 points in the game. We have a 10 point lead. 9.6 assists for Gerald Johnson. 1 for 1 from downtown. Starting off good as Mikhail Bridges is going to take it to the rack against Christopher. He's going to kick out to Paul and I am not going to let him take that shot. He will however kick it out to Bridges. What a find! And he knocks down the 3 ball to cut the lead back to single digits to a 7 point game. But I want... Actually maybe not. We might not be able to get a 3 here. Ooh, that was a possible turnover. Jalen Green is going to draw the foul on Devin Booker. That is his first. And let's see if I get subbed out here. Jalen Green knocks down the first free throw, and I do indeed get subbed out. But Jalen Green will stay in the game. Let's see. Wow, we're down by one at the end of the first. That, nah, that can't be. What's going on? We get the ball, all right? We got to get us the lead back. I am going to get us the lead back. Give me my takeover. 18 seconds left. They got their bench in. They said, screw it. They brought me right back in to end this first quarter. And I'm just going to watch the clock wind down. I have a slashing takeover right to the rack. And I'm getting fouled. I will take it. Seventh team foul on the Suns. They've committed seven fouls so far. And we are losing. That's not a good look if we're winning the free throw battle. As I thought I missed that. If we're winning the free throw battle and still they have or had the lead take that shot yeah that ain't happening you ain't Steph Curry 37 38 one point lead heading into the first I mean second quarter very high scoring game you see the Suns are continuing to double team me and leaving people open but the people they're leaving open are just not hitting their shots that's Jabari Smith I don't know what you were doing were you flirting with the camera person like what are we doing they keep double teaming me but the people I'm passing to they're leaving open just refuse to hit shots like KPJ why would why didn't you even attempt it you had space there, buddy. Look, Javari Smith Jr., wide open. Let's see if he can hit it, please. Thank you. He finally, finally someone hits it. Left wide open. Javari Smith Jr. from downtown as my takeover is going to run out. But yeah, I kicked it out to KPJ one play. Bricked it. Kicked it out to Javari Smith Jr. before that play. Missed it. As Torrey Craig comes right back with the three. We have a competitive one here, folks. Back and forth it is with players you did not expect. Torrey Craig is one of the last players I expected to be giving us wow wow i did not where was my foul there no foul 2k all right I'll, whatever chris paul with the ball bars they're gonna set they're not gonna set up a screen giving it back to tory craig back to chris paul out to the perimeter i'll give him a little bit of space he ain't gonna just pull that he ain't steph curry tory craig with the ball let's not let him get an easy three jabari smith clamp up clamp up jabari smith that was great defense and we nearly missed the rebound sangoon came and save that bad boy. Still down by one though. Suns giving us a run for our money here. 
Kick it out. Jabari Smith right through Jay Crowder's fingertips. He throws it down. Jabari Smith now has 13 points in the game. Wide open. In the corner. Two for two from downtown. Gerald Johnson gives us a two-point lead right back. Hitting all the three so far. Looking like my old self, Chris Paul, going all the way back to the logo. As Devin Booker is going to be left wide open. Misses it, luckily. Down court, Josh Christopher to me. And I'm finally going to get some points in the paint. I've been struggling trying to draw fouls and all of that. And I finally get a dunk right over Chris Paul. To extend this lead to two possessions now instead of being one possession. 18-8, and eight, I have no rebounds currently. Which is... Uh, doesn't look good on the stat sheet, to be honest. Jay Crowder is being left wide open. Thankfully, Devin Booker did not have the pass awareness as the offensive three seconds on DeAndre Ayton gives us the ball right back. Eight point lead so far. I hit another three. That makes me four, four, four from downtown. I'm looking to make this a double digit lead heading into halftime as Cameron Payne just got an and one. So that is why it's not a double digit lead. Kenyon Martin Jr. Gets it up to 10 points. They still have 7 seconds left. Plenty of time. Rudy Gay is going to bring it up court. He is most likely going to take the last shot. He gets a good look. And, of course, he knocks it down. Wow, what else is new? And we're going to have a 7-point lead going to halftime. No defense was being played there. I don't know what happened. Oh, my God. Eight in it. He's grabbing every off. We need a center, man. We need one. Sangoon's not even in the paint to grab the rebounds. He's somewhere else. Aiden's just gobbling up every single rebound there is. Jabari, please. Because they also have the pick and roll on lock. Wait, I don't understand what we're going to do if we make it to the finals when we have to face Vucevic or Jared Allen and Evan Mobley. We have to go up against Jared Allen and Evan Mobley. It's over. And just chop it up as an L. Give the, give the Cavaliers a championship at that point because, my God, we cannot rebound to save our lives. Uh, Gayton, I get the ball! Screw you, Jalen Green, man. You, you're you useless on offense. You do nothing. Eight-point lead. The Suns need a timeout after I get my second steal of the game. Oh, we got team takeover. I didn't even notice that. Eight-point lead, team takeover. Uh, this is a time to, you know, extend our lead by a tremendous amount. Deep look to the paint. And I did that, and I caused that. Not going to lie. I did not expect Deep Book to pass out of that. But, I mean, now that I'm controlling everyone, it should be easier to score, right? Right? As long as I'm not taking a jump shot. And as long as Jabari Smith actually runs the pick and roll because he didn't there for a second. I'm going to sub that. We have an eight-point lead. Please bench. Jabari Smith is still in the game. We got KP. He just got subbed out. And now it's on. Wow, our bench is selling big time right now. What happened? Come on, man. Every time I get subbed out, we have a close to double-digit lead. And the bench just sells it immediately. This is this is not looking good, man. What are we doing? Usually when I come into the game, we have the same lead or even more. Now our bench is just they're giving up. I don't know what they are doing. Cameron Payne kicks out to Johnson. I can't wait till free. He's good. Yup, he hits that because they got. No, oh, wow. All right, I, get, I was going to say, they hit that. Cause, what just happened? Oh my God. And they're going to get a foul on top of it. This is insane. What happened? How did that ball get turned over there? I, where was he? Where was Rudy Gay in that entire sequence? That's why I don't understand. And then Sarge hits both. And now it's a one point game again. Awesome, 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 awesome. But we need. I can't wait for this playoff run to be over so we can go just free agency. Because my God, we need changes. Uh, why is KJ Martin playing center? Why? Explain to me, 2K, why KJ Martin is playing center right now instead of uh, Smith. What What do we get out of that? What is the possible benefit of playing a 6'5 forward at center instead of the 6'10 forward? I doesn't make much sense to me. And Rudy Gay is going to hit another shot, isn't he? No. He's been killing us. I love how the game that I'm actually hitting my threes, hitting my shots, is the game that's extremely close. One point game. Like, no one saw that coming. I'm going right to the rack. Please draw a foul. Thank you. Jay Crowder's had me in Alcatraz anytime I drive to the paint. They have not been calling any fouls. I only have seven free throws. I'm about to have my eighth one. Usually at this point, I'm at like 11 or 12 free throws by now. 
Like I get fouled every time I go to the line, um, go to the rack. But it, no, they have not been getting calls, and they've just been playing lockdown defense when I get into that painted area. Chris Paul, no way that's going in. Hell no, we just need to get the rebound, and we do. Give it to me, Jabari. Okay, or just run it up the court, Jabari. Ah, you know what? I'll just completely go right by Chris Paul, and I'm I'm activating my dual takeovers. We need to pull away in this game right now. We only have a one-point lead. We've been absolutely useless on offense. Everyone besides me hasn't done anything when the ball is there in their hands. Jabari Smith only can score if I'm hitting a pick and roll with him. Aiton is about to murder Jalen Green in the post. Or kick it out to Chris Paul. Thankfully, I was there to force him to pass that. Uh, someone get the rebound. Thank you, Smith. We've been absolutely useless. No one besides me has done anything on offense. And then Chris Paul is locking me the hell up as Crowder picks up his fourth foul. Like, I can't get by him. Even with my takeover, I can't get by him. Inbound the ball, please. Thank you. Jabari Smith comes at the screen. Even though Jay Crowder just won't um, bite on it. Oh, he did this time. You ran out to the perimeter for some reason. You got the layup, though. If you missed that over six foot Chris Paul, we would have had issues. Currently have an eight point lead. And remember when I said I had zero rebounds? Yeah, I've now got five. All right. I've been, I've been collecting them boards. I've been, I've been grabbing all them boards because no one else is going to do it. But we currently have an eight point lead for possession lead. I guess, yeah, technically it can be. As Jabari Smith grabs a big rebound, and we have more time to waste off the clock. It's not looking good now for the Phoenix Suns. They've come empty on four straight possessions. While we've scored on four straight possessions due to this pick and roll dynamic right here. That's Sengun that's open. That's Jalen Green for the dagger. It's good. 11 point lead now at the end of the fourth quarter. Two and a half minutes left. Jalen Green hits possibly the dagger as the Suns are going to take a timeout. And they need a three. In order to stay in this game. If not, it's not looking good for them. Chris Paul now with the ball. Going to go right to the lane. He's going to throw one up and it's off. And I'm on the break. I'm going to stop because I had Devin Booker and Mikael Bridges. So that would not have ended well. Also me with no stamina. And I can get this too close. If not below two minutes. I actually can't get below two minutes. I can get to 203. But if we score here, game's over. We score here. Game's over. Sengun on the book. That is game 13 point lead. Two minutes left. And the Suns are not looking good. They had, they were close all game. They were within one. They never really got the lead. Especially in this fourth quarter as Chris Paul is going to take another bad shot. Aiton gobbles up the rebound like he's been doing all night. Sengun causes a foul. But they've been close all night. And they are going to come up short. As they collapse in the fourth quarter. And they're going to give the Houston Rockets a 2-0 lead. 12-point game. They're still alive. And definitely still alive here. As I'm just going to run up the court. And waste as much time as possible. And with 19 seconds left. We go on a what I believe was a 16-4 run. To end this game. It was 101-98 to at one point. We were up. Actually, it was 101 to 103 also at one point. But we're going to do it. Go up two games to one. Dominant fourth quarter for the Houston Rockets. Two games to one. We're going up two games to zero. And I know I said last episode if it was a blowout, uh, I played the rest of the games on my own. But this was not a blowout. They gave us a fight for three and a half quarters. It just up until the end, they didn't have enough. So I will definitely be playing game three. And depending on how it goes, if that's a blowout, I might play game four on my own. But big game for the Rockets. Final box score, Gerald Johnson, 51 points, 5 rebounds, 19 assists, and 3 steals in the win. 18 for 25 from three, um, from the field from 3. Uh, 4 for 4 from downtown. Amazing 3-point uh, performance from him. Best of the playoffs, probably. Could not do much in the paint, though, which was a surprise. Javari Smith Jr. continues his outstanding playoff run with 27 points. Then Jalen Green with 18. And as you can tell, nothing else from anyone else. Sengun had a big game. 4 points, 10 rebounds with 4 blocks. Monster game. But yeah, as you can see, he's literally just very top heavy right here with Jalen Green Smith and Johnson. D book got clamped up all night. 19 points, four rebounds, five assists on eight for twenty. Aiton had a really good game, seven offensive rebounds. Sarge off the bench and Cam Johnson off the bench both balled out. But where is he? Chris Paul, two for sixteen, one for four. I forgot what this man had in game one. He had ten points on four for fourteen. He is getting 
destroyed offensively. I have just clamped them up, and I hope to continue that. Jay Crowder only had four points. But that's going to be it for me. Leave a like, guys. Enjoy. Subscribe, guys. Our news. GG.